Right, here we are. Friday, 1922, 58 seconds, the year 2021, the month, the eighth month, which is August. <laughs> and sixth day. Here we are with the Fendies. Got Willamette's best bee honey on them. <laughs> it's more so, it was Willamette's, Willamette Valley's best raw, unfiltered honey is thicker than New Zealand uh, Manuka honey. <laughs> it's special, man. It's from the Manuka plant. And when you get it, it's like fucking, it's not thick. It is not crystallized very well. <laughs> but you get some of Willamette Valley's fucking bee honey, motherfuckers. Oh, that shit thick with the crystallization in there. Oh, so the brother got Willamette Valley's best on the fingertips now. <laughs> as, as the fake COVID-19 hospitals helicopter <laughs> heads south for the wiener. <laughs> anyway so I've been watching fucking videos here the last three days and going on cam girl fucking chatterbait website man oh you talk about some hot fucking honeys motherfucker <laughs> oh god these girls are fucking Robot controlled though. <laughs> and some of the robots are more natural though. Otherwise they'd have a remote control pink pink thing vibrator that they put in their pussy. And whenever the brothers or the or whenever the uh, the clients <laughs> whenever, the, whenever the clients see something that they like in her or on her or around her or with her <laughs> they give her a tip and that tip automatically vibrates the, the pussy insert that she put in there and it rubs inside there probably right on the g-spot <laughs> vibrates man so and then they got uh the remote control is connected to uh, the uh, the adult dildo machines, which is basically just the idea was from a, a regular jigsaw that goes in and out <laughs> when you cut it. <laughs> Those were the first inventive days for the fuck machines. <laughs> And man, I saw this one girl, man. Oh, God. This one girl had this fucking fuck machine that was like one of them old-time fucking horses that the kids ride on that are always in front of the store. <laughs> this thing rocked back and forth and had an extension that went up inside her. And she rocked on that motherfucker, man. Oh my fucking God, you talk about a girl fucking orgasming with her fucking he head looking straight up in the air as far as it would go. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> and you start thinking to yourself, this fucking society fucked me up so bad, I never got a taste of any of that shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? When your eyes are open to what the fuck's going on, folks, how they ripped us off mama's fucking all natural fucking swinging dick tits in nature. And created this fucking fake clothing on us. You know, when you, when I, I all I can say is when I saw that, and I hope you might see some of it, <laughs> if not all of it. <laughs> Oh my god. But anyway, I was I was getting sucked into fucking computer watching fucking videos with this internet. And I don't like that shit. I gotta fucking manually pull my ass a fucking away from that shit. It's so fucking addicting. 
<laughs> and, and here and here it is what's the first thing i wanted to do grab the camera and start fucking report recording so i can get it quickly upload it onto the to the fucking internet youtube shows <laughs> Uh, but this one's this one's cool because I need to have a test video that uh, more than likely is going to go over the 10 minute <clears throat> pre-programmed regular YouTube limit in connection with this iPod 8 smartphone with the 13.0 version. <laughs> Or is that the 13.AIUOE version? <laughs> Woo! Ah. But you can see, you know, once I get out in the backyard, back more into nature, you know, the real me, I, ha I, I have I, this, this, this space right here that I have uh, been enjoying, more freedoms than the average man or woman, probably on the whole fucking planet unless you got you know five or ten acres or 15 or 20 acres <laughs> and, the, and you got no fucking neighbors see what i'm saying i mean or yeah no people so fucking close you know what i'm saying unless you've lived like that you don't know what it's fucking like and if and if you want to know what it's like and here we all find ourselves in these fucking cities Pumped, pumped, dragged, dragged out of nature from our natural habitat, which is to have some space. <laughs> have some space. To feel comfortable, to, to be our true selves. <laughs> God, man. That, that doesn't come very easy in the society that we've been living in, irregardless of who's been fucking president or who still is president or who wants to be the next fucking president. You know? <laughs> what is with this fucking addiction we got that we think that we need someone to tell us what to fucking do to exist? In, in the wonderful space that we like to have. <laughs> and preferably at least 20 fucking acres. In the military, you're supposed to get 40 fucking acres. And they fucking, Congress swindled that shit out, of, out from the military fucking folks. That's the way it used to be in the back in the old days in the military, and it's still there to use. <clears throat> There's a whole bunch of military fucking people out there need to hear this shit. So all you gotta do, you know, you got two ways: the legal way or the lawful fucking way. I've chosen the lawful way <laughs> for now. <laughs> And the legal way, too, because I included their asses to be leaned up under warrant on the affidavit. So it's a team effort here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they agreed to it. I mean, folks, when you got volunteer agreement to the way things should arrive at some type of spacious balance, they've already agreed to it through their own legal codes, and that is acquiescence is default judgment. And the hammer falls, bam. Ain't no different from a fucking true bill in these courts. When they're trying felony fucking cases in these courts, folks, there has to be a true bill first. And so it's the same thing in the lawful realm called the affidavit. If these fuckers collect from us and violate our security agreement, <laughs> then that opens them up to be billed for their discrepancy 
<laughs> in collecting. <laughs> and when they don't pay up, then the exact same thing that they do to us when we don't pay up is they put a lien in place at the Secretary of fucking State where all the debtor creditor records are twisted upside down. Just in case you don't know how the fucking counties, cities, counties, town, cities, counties, and the states don't run. Just in case you don't know how they run. <laughs> I say this shit, folks. <laughs> Looks like we went past the 10 minute mark. We're at 11. <laughs> Shall we wait for 911? Done. 6, 6, 7, 8, 9. There it is. 90, 11. That's 0, 111. <laughs> what was that? 0, 111 and 9 seconds. <laughs> the fuck is time zero hundred eleven <laughs> but anyway yeah you know pulling myself off the addictive fucking internet but I'm in an emergency situation with these fingers that would be the national emergency the bankruptcy motherfuckers collected a couple fucking fingertips yeah <laughs> it makes me wonder. I'm thinking to myself, oh shit. I wonder what's going to happen in the lawful in the lawful realms in the universe. <laughs> For what what's just happened here? It makes me wonder. I mean, I only have to wonder because I always look back at things and then I say to myself, oh shit. Wow, look what just happened. And it's usually a couple of years later. But when I'm in it, you know, I don't see it as clearly as I, as I did a couple years later. And I, I've always seen all kinds of shit happen lawfully when, when people collect things from this fucking space. <laughs> no, I don't mean that to be, to be mean, but that's just the male energy that comes out. That's the warrior energy. And then the softer side, you know, comes out too but you know I mean we're, we're all passionate like that we all get that same passionate level and it, for all kinds of different subject reason, re reasons you know, we all get passionate with, with all kinds of different sub subject reasons you know <laughs> so we know what it feels like when we're, when we're just releasing our passions. And when we, when, when we feel that same frequency come from the neighbor, because that's, all, that's all there is fucking around here is the neighbor or the people on the fucking pub, public pathway out there near the storefront. In case you didn't know, in legal, in, in legal terms, that's a street run, running down there. And this is a public fairway, otherwise a main street. <laughs> This, this whole motherfucker right here has the potential to turn into a fucking <laughs> country fair zone. Everybody's got their kitchens. All right. <laughs> Can you imagine that shit, folks? <laughs> the country fair ex extends from Vanita to Eugene, and now it's penetrating Springfield. <laughs> Because this is the Willamette Valley, folks. This is the home of the Democrats. And these fuckers don't like to give up shit. <laughs> and they'll bring out all kinds of shit for, for diversionary tactic reasons, folks. To get people's minds on pleasure, pleasurable things that are much more pleasurable <laughs> than trying to, to actually fight against them. <laughs> to try to fight them. <laughs> that, that's... that's that simple military tactics 101 folks that that's bully manipulation tactics everything goes with the bully the bully make himself look like a fucking angel of light or if you're a man the most beautiful fucking sexiest fucking thing you ever heard whisper in the ear and during that sucker <laughs> 
folks, you got to realize the the universal matrix robot program is so fucking sophisticated. But don't believe me, it's just a story. See these birds flying up here? That's part of the program. It's all electronically controlled. Like this could be a hollow fucking gram. <laughs> And you know this because I was, I was, you just got to study the YouTube videos on MK Ultra, the Marilyn Monroe Monarch Butterfly, the mind control folks. I mean, if you got any kind of sense and really thought on this, if it can happen to her, why hasn't it then happened to everyone? And do you think that it hasn't? <laughs> this is Sherlock Holmes here, motherfucker. I was, I was commenting on a YouTuber's video today. I said, I'm like just like Sherlock Holmes. I have to assume it could be this and it could be this. And so if I say things in here in your little comment room, you know, if you're innocent, it's, you're going to accept that shit for value. But if you're guilty, I mean, God, <laughs> then I'm going to probably see it in, in some type of reaction that you have eventually. <laughs> Eventually, because that's one thing that I kind of know about the bully. If you question the bully and question him and question him and question him, he's going to get to a point where he's, he, the bully ain't going to be able to stand it. And they, they shall violently lash out. Violently. Because that's exactly what a, what a judge does on the bench. When he knows you know something and you're looking to expose some shit. They cut that shit out quick, folks. They rise up like dragons. Anyway, we, we were on to some heavy topic right there, and it just it just left the galaxy. <laughs> we'll wait for it to circle back around. But anyway, we're at 17 minutes. Let's see if this fucker uploads. Lady Lattice.